so it's Monday evening on Motherhood Mondays and I'm just reflecting on some conversations I've had with women that have had children to say the lack of sleep that they get. Now I'm feeling resentful because my sleep pattern is awful. I'm not getting the usual eight hours I used to get. So it's very, very annoying that my sleep is being interrupted and I'm getting a lot of insomnia and I'm sleeping at awful times rather than the same time every night. It makes me think, well, this is what new mums go through with babies who are completely selfish and wake up when they want sleep, when they want cry, when they want eat, when they feel hungry. So I'm just wondering how I'm going to enjoy eight hours of sleep a night before God's time decides that I should become a mum. So that's the only thing I really want to speak on, shall I say speak my thoughts into this recording, sleep spoke to my a doctor today by telephone appointment who refused to give me a face-to-face appointment and requested that i'm possibly going to need some sleeping tablets because trying to sleep at the same time every night like i used to has been impossible and sometimes when i set my alarm for six i get hit by lethargy and it's almost impossible to wake up even if you haven't got a job to go to or anything on the to-do list to do with your essentials. So I'm not going to take advantage of the lockdown that's coming in a few days by sleeping when I want and how I want and all that because I want to get back to work so that I can buy myself a house to live in. And there's a possibility that that job will be during the daytime. And getting enough sleep or rest or whatever you want to call it is essential to brain function. So hopefully as soon as possible I can get through to a doctor who will give me a prescription of sleeping tablets. And he says it's very addictive. But what do you expect if you're looking to go back to work during the day? You need to sleep at night. So I don't understand how it's addictive. Is it the chemicals in the sleeping tablet that's addictive? Or I just don't understand what's addictive because the sleeping tablets in question, I've had them before and I didn't feel addicted to them. I was just quite upset that I was only getting four hours on them. I thought if you take a sleeping tablet, you can get eight hours. So, yeah... If there's such a thing as a sleeping tablet that can give me eight hours sleep a night before I get to that stage with the three M's of a a reality and not just a wish, that'll be amazing. God, the NHS, they're doing their best, but it's it's almost impossible they told me I had to sign on online this is just a bit of a extra personal information nothing to do with motherhood but can you imagine having a baby being a mum and trying to get an appointment during the COVID-19 for global pandemic in England London especially so my thoughts and almost my heart are out to all those mothers who may be having possible difficulties with GPs in the NHS at this time or maybe they're not maybe because their mums they're going to get appointments for doctors but it's been a hard slog trying to get one I tried to book an appointment as soon as I landed in advance they said nope internet went and done that they said sorry we can't register you go to your surgery go to the surgery they say they can't get a form for me to register online so now I have to go in and ask for a text or a phone call it's ridiculous right i'm not a millionaire can't afford private otherwise i would have just gone straight to a private practitioner to 
deal with this problem of not getting enough sleep. The insomnia is just awful. I don't have a baby, so insomnia without a baby mouth is just tedious. Okay, so this, that's the only thing that is on my mind at the moment with regards to motherhood Monday's sleep and the mother, just remembering mothers telling me they don't get much sleep and me not being a mum, not getting much sleep seemed very pointless so I'm just on the mission to get these sleeping tablets ugh what a nightmare eh okay so signing out um, as you can hear my voice I'm very exhausted because the insomnia was terrible this morning, early hours, so I'm going to try and get some rest. So, thanks for listening. I look awful. I've got shopping trolleys under my eyes because I haven't had enough sleep, so I don't fancy talking into a camera right now. <laughs> I'll be selfish, right? Okay, bye-bye.